I like to think of integrated pest management as really being intelligent pest management, where we use our knowledge of the pest, the pest's natural enemies, the crop that we're in and the environment to find weak links in the system where we can disadvantage those pests and reduce our need to rely on chemical insecticides for their control. A good example is on-farm hygiene and mealybug. We know that this particular pest needs to survive during the winter months on some sort of live host, whether it be a volunteer cotton or return plant or a weed species. So if we can have a very clean fallow in between cotton crops, you automatically prevent that pest from being in the field when we start next season. This field that I'm standing in here is a good example where there was a lot of volunteers during the winter months that enabled mealybug to survive and infest this crop early season. But thankfully, with good IPM practices, we now have an abundance of natural enemies here that have taken care of the problem. This mealybug hotspot that I'm standing in has been absolutely decimated by ladybirds and lacewings that have moved in and exerted really effective biological control. So IPM isn't really about a recipe, but it's about a way of thinking where we use a range of both preemptive and responsive tactics. The important thing is that we're thinking about how we're doing our pest management and that the actions that we're taking today are gonna to provide a sustainable basis for managing pests now and well into the future.